Hello everyone. Welcome to Healthy Living. Today and every day is a beautiful day. But, you know, there's always got to be a but. <laughs> Y'all yeah, worked so hard yesterday because the weather has been beautiful and it has not been in the triple digits. So I tried to take advantage of it. And so yesterday I worked from one end to the other end. So I'm just going to show you some things that I've been doing. I did go buy some new flowers. I did do that. I just have no idea where I'm going to put them. So let me show you around. And then I got a little work I need to do. I've been laying around today. I didn't want to do anything because I had did so much yesterday. But you know how we got to do it. Gardeners always got to be doing something. And another thing, the cayenne pepper. <laughs> that I harvested the other day, you all, I was surprised how many cayenne peppers it ended up being. I did count them. That would be the next video. Uh, I have been working on that as well. So if this is your first time here, like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next videos that I put out. So let me just show you around the yard. We're gonna start here with, with the patio. And uh, my new flowers I end up buying the other day. There's two of them in here. It's the Luma, Luna uh, Hibiscus is there. I finally end up putting this plant in the pot and, and remove the other ones out. And that is uh, a gardenia plant here. Yes. Just want to make sure I said it right. <laughs> and then these here is going to have to be removed. These are like the cactus plant. They've been getting too much water coming down. Cactus plants don't, or succulents, doesn't need that much water. Uh, let's see what else. The tomatoes that I stuck in here, if you look real close, let me take them out so you can see even better. Let me see if you can see it. You see them sticking out? It's growing the roots. Yeah, you can see them. They will be here before you know it. It doesn't take long. I will have plants. And you don't want to take the water way up. Because wherever you got the water, that's where them roots is going to be growing. Pineapple. They're growing. But for some reason, they seem like they're growing small or taking too long. But who am I to say how long a plant should take? I just supposed to enjoy as they grow. This is another hibiscus. I forgot what the name is. She did not give me the ticket, uh, the care tag on it. So I'm going to have to look it up. But that is another one. It gets pretty tall. I just think this is beautiful. I think it will add some pop to the yard. You know, break up all that greenery out there. And then yesterday, I took my time out and uh, gather up some pots. Got them, got them ready just to drop seeds in. That was just some extras. I even did these as well. I didn't fill them up all the way. Just trying to stay ahead of myself. There's another hibiscus luna uh, back there, but it's a white one. It's beautiful. I did show you that one in my last video. My next harvest will be these banana sweet peppers here and the uh, the Grand Reaper. Definitely need to harvest that. Then someone at work, I told you about this plant. Need to find something for it to go. And what else I got to do? I have some dirt in here that I need to shift. Come to find out. It has some rocks and stuff in it. So I need to take care of that. Got my little shifter out. So we can get rid of the bad and keep the good. And we're going to go over here at Paradise. Let you check Paradise out. It's time to cut the grass. It's been raining. It even rained today. So, man, I'm not going to complain. It's growing. So, I'll just so just show you what I've been doing. Okay. I, I added some hay. We have tomato plants growing over there. Them are the yellow pear tomatoes the lettuce is doing just great 
this was the plant that was in the brown pot that I put it over here. This bed here is ready. I done added fertilizer and then cover it up so weeds would not grow in it. It's just chilling. Uh, we have some more squash growing. They finally broke ground. Remember, we was looking, checking them out. These are, oh, these peppers are hot in any of these colors. Anytime you want to harvest them, you can. And it's about time because I have, uh, I'm pretty low in my uh, kitchen covers. Pretty low on them peppers. Here's some more squash. Matter of fact, you even see the seed on it. I haven't even kicked the seed off. They're growing just fine. That's what I was telling you. When your plants die, you have so many seeds. Don't be tripping on it. Go on in that house. Get some more seeds and throw them on in the pot, in the dirt. Cover them up, water them, and keep it moving. Yesterday, I ended up taking all this dirt out. This is where I had my potatoes at. I did my potato harvest out of this container. And remember, it had a lot of ants. So I treated my dirt and uh, put a little seven dust powder in there. And this one is ready. There's nothing in it. And the banana peppers, I did the same thing. And oh my y'all, look at that. That's why I be telling y'all have to be careful. Look who's in there. Y'all see it? You see him? He's, he's chilling. You see that? Chilling. That's why I always say we gotta wear gloves. You never know what's lurking. You never know. I was getting ready to reach in there. I ain't reaching. I seen them little legs. See that? My goodness. Whew. Like I said, this is their grounds, playgrounds. This tomato plant, they had it hard, but it's trying. Aroma tomato plant. The strawberries did the same. I cut them back. It was it was hard on them. That sun was hard. Cut them back, fertilized them, and I got them tucked away, and uh, so it can hold more moisture, like always. And uh, so we'll be watching them smile at us when that time come. Now, since I done showed you all of that, we're gonna make it to the back. Okay, we have made it in the back, and this is the large raised bed here and this is how everything is looking we need to harvest some green beans look at that i need to put something in there to hold them up they're wearing them down look at that isn't that beautiful just beautiful and over here is the cantaloupe and what I didn't understand, I wanted to share with you all. Look at that. I didn't understand why the cantaloupe is this color. But if you see that black line running in there, let me see, bring it a little close to you. It's cracked. Yes, it's cracked. So, and it looks like ants are going in and out of it. I have another one here. This one here is no longer attached. Now, this is my first time growing cantaloupe and actual watermelon. So we're gonna take this one over here and put it on the table. It looks just fine. Seems like it should be bigger than that, but I'll take it, you know, I don't, I'm still learning you all. And then we have another one over here that is, What's going on with this one? It's yellow too. So, like I said, I don't know much. And that is attached to it. It's still, I don't know. What y'all think? Is that the biggest it's going to get? Okay, I don't know. Y'all let me know something in the comment. Let me show you over here. The vine board got into the pumpkin. See that? That's what it looks like. I was showing my niece. I sent her a picture. Then we have another pumpkin growing right here. 
So let's hope that he does not do anything. But it's still continue on growing because it's attached their self to the ground. But that don't mean it's still going to survive. I'm not sure. We've got to do some more research on it. Here is the watermelon. Um, I lost a couple of them. And this is what we're looking like here. So, oh, there's another one in there. Can y'all see it? Yeah. Like, right there. There's another one. And another one in there. One over there. So we got watermelon. And just in case something happened to these here, you know your girl's always prepared. I put drop some more seed in so we should have some new plants growing just in case something happens. We're gonna get us a watermelon, honey, before the summer is up. Same way with these cantaloupe. I'm not I wasn't exactly sure what was going on. We have new seeds. Okay. Like I told you, it's my first time. So I'm gonna make sure I get something, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll come over here, show you that everything end up getting some hay in there. Ooh, something's always moving and jumping. Look at that right here. See? Okay. The cucumbers are coming along just fine. The tomatoes are doing what they're supposed to do. Yes. Everybody's happy right now. Um, this is the sweet potato just growing up on the vine. And then we come over here. These tomatoes is going to be eventually replaced uh, with the other tomatoes. We have peppers here and basil. So it's looking a little raggedy here. <laughs> We have some more squash, zucchini, this in here, and peppers, ghost peppers. You know I love some peppers. This is the cayenne plant here, or bush. Look, it's already red so far. And we have more. Uh, I end up, I guess this is the tour, the last tour of June. So I guess I go ahead and keep talking. And these are some cayenne peppers. No, not cayenne peppers. These are regular peppers right here this is a bell pepper man they are everywhere look look at that got the baby out working okay that's a bell pepper here i already got one off that needs to be hung up that's the reason why i'm out here got two okra plants that is in the container two more in the container and then this plastic container once the okra gets through growing and all of that this is going in the trash because when I was trying to pick it up, it kept uh, cracking. So, yeah, I'm just telling y'all, don't get no clear plastic. Uh, I've had some just hanging around. It's hard. Uh, the sun is very hard on the plastic. Then we have the bell peppers, orange, yellow, that needs to go somewhere. Then I planted some more okra in here. And over there I think these green beans done had it the corn is doing good the okra is still putting out I love making pickle okra okay remember these uh, remember the corn I just put out I just planted look how they doing they're taking off well plus this soil in this bed is awesome it's got some awesome soil alright y'all I'm going to get ready to do the little work that I came out to do. This is another sweet potato plant. All right.
Well, this one right here is broke. I don't know if you can see it. When I took it out the package, it was broke. So, oh well. <laughs> I haven't uh, decided yet what I was going to do with this. You know, I want to put it down here in this area but I want to be tasteful I thought about the L shape uh, and still be able to walk in between so that's here and then bring it here but I don't know I'm still thinking <laughs> you know how we are I don't want to rush and do something and then have to change my mind because that is too big to be hauling around in the yard so I guess I go ahead and throw this in the trash since it's a dollar 25 and I do have another one that is in the garage and gotta figure out I guess I need to let it ripen up a little bit more I don't have no idea why they turned yellow so I'll put that underneath my arm and that's all the stuff that that came out of the garden. And anything else to show y'all? Let me see. Okay. They was beautiful earlier today. The flowers was up and open. And my goodness. That over there still taking care of itself. I'll get over there. The flowers over there in the heart. Oh my, it looks like it done moved over. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna take y'all over there. With this video can last, a, I don't know how long, okay. <laughs> and I ain't trying to keep y'all that long, but I just wanted to tell you all thank you for being here. Thank you, allow me to share what is going on in healthy living. And you all. This is the end of June. It's getting ready to be July. It's getting ready to get even hotter. So try to do as much as you can while you have good temperature. Do whatever you can because, baby, it's getting ready to get hot as a firecracker. Okay. Woo. So if this is your first time, like I said, comment. Let us know. Please, y'all have any ideas, leave it in the comments so we all can read and learn from each other. See you all in the next video.